that moment when you film for the third time. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Brno transportation is one of the best in the world, I dare to say. We have buses, trams, trolleybuses that can take you all over the city regardless the hour. My name is Tara and in this video we would like to teach you how to buy your pass, in another words, Schallingkarta in Brno. Why you should buy the pass? First of all, it is definitely cheaper than buying tickets every single time you travel using Brno transportation. If you want to know more about the tickets, you can check the little i and check our previous video where we talk about that. However, this video is about the pass. So, where can you buy it? You can buy it either at the Dopravní podnik at Novobranská 18 or you can also buy it at the train station or other smaller offices that belong to Dopravní podnik. Now, let's talk money. How much does the pass cost? It really depends on for how long you want to use it. You can buy monthly pass, quarterly pass or also yearly pass. And the prices for all will be on the screen right now. However, have in mind, if you are 70 years old or older, then you don't have to pay and all Brno transportation is for free for you. Okay, we said why you should buy the pass, where you can buy it and for how much. And now, what happens if you don't have it? There are basically two scenarios. If you don't have your pass and you get caught by the transportation inspector or the revisor, then you have two options. You can either pay the fee right on spot, which is 800 crowns, or also within the next five days, or if you don't pay within those five days, nor on spot, then the fee increases to 1500 Czech crowns. When getting caught by the revisor, that person can ask you to see your ID. And if you are foreigner out of the EU zone, that person is entitled to ask to see your residence card. When getting caught by a revisor, that person will give you a paper, a document that is proving that you are supposed to pay a fee. Have in mind that the paper has to have a correct amount of money, which is 800 crowns, and signature of that person. Also, as much as that person is entitled to ask to see your ID, you are also entitled to ask to see his or her transportation inspector ID, which will have a number that should match the number on his badge. And the badge looks something like this. What can also happen is that you perhaps decide not to pay at all, or maybe even try to run away from the inspector, which I would definitely not recommend. In such case, that person is entitled to call foreign police on you, and that's never a good thing, so please don't do that. One important thing, if you decide to leave the country without paying your fees to the Dopravní podnik, don't do that, because the office is entitled to chase you even abroad, and of course the money will only increase. So please always pay your debts or better have your monthly, quarterly or yearly pass with you and valid. That's it for this video. We hope that you have learned something new. But before we finish, we promise you that we will teach you hantets. And so the word for this video is metre, which means month. If you like the video, give us a like and of course comment below. Let us know if you ever had any troubles buying the monthly, quarterly or yearly pass. And of course, share it with anyone who is maybe planning to come to Brno or needs to learn how to buy the pass for the Brno transportation. Click here to watch our last video and click here to subscribe to our channel because we make videos from Brno every single week. See you next time. Out of office. Is it okay? Yes. Okay. It, I'm so tired.